Reading Pioneers is proud to present Peaky Nation, A Day at Work with Dad by Richard Roser, illustrated by Shane Sowell. Sammy Hammock woke up early. It was the first day of summer vacation, and he couldn't wait to get up and not go to school. Sammy's dad had promised to take him to work, and Sammy jumped out of bed, ready for the day. Sammy's dad made his favorite breakfast, apple cinnamon pancakes. Sammy ate a tall stack in record time. Soon it was time to go. Sammy asked, Shouldn't we clean up? His dad looked at the mess and replied, Nah. Mom will take care of it. Sammy yelled, But Dad! His dad was already out the door. As they drove through the neighborhood, Sammy wondered what his dad did for work. I'm a piggy patrol officer, replied his dad. When I see piggy behavior... I give the offender a ticket. What if we don't see any piggy behavior? asked Sammy. Don't worry, laughed his dad. Piggy behavior is everywhere. Up ahead, a baboon's pet porcupine pooped on a neighbor's lawn. The baboon had no plastic bag and no intention of picking the poop up. Let's get him, said Sammy's dad as he stepped on the gas to catch the baboon. Sammy yelled, but dad! His dad kept driving and Sammy hung on tight. Sammy's dad gave the baboon a piggy ticket and explained how the porcupine poop might damage the flamingo's lawn. Piggies don't think about how their actions affect others, said Sammy's dad as they sped away. Sammy replied, That's piggy behavior! His dad gave him a high five. Sammy and his dad stopped for lunch in the park. Most animals don't realize they're being piggies, said his dad. They just need to be reminded to think of others. After lunch, they drove down a busy street. Sammy's dad spotted a littering lizard and stomped on the brakes. Watch this, said Sammy's dad as he jumped out of the cart. Sammy yelled, but dad! His dad hurried to ticket the lizard. Sammy's dad gave the lizard a piggy ticket for her thoughtless littering. Piggies aren't aware of their surroundings, said Sammy's dad. Sammy replied, That's piggy behavior! His dad patted him on the head. As they continued through town, Sammy and his dad looked for piggy behavior. 
Sammy pointed at an obnoxious ox, talking loudly on his cell phone. Stay with the cart, said Sammy's dad, as he rushed to ticket the ox. Sammy yelled, But dad! His dad was in such a hurry that he bumped a waitress. Sammy's dad gave the ox a piggy ticket and pointed out that his phone call might annoy other customers. Piggies are considerate of others, said Sammy's dad as they drove away. Sammy replied, that's piggy behavior. His dad gave him a thumbs up. After a full day of work, Sammy and his dad drove home. Down the block, a dog barked and barked. Sammy and his dad followed the barking, but the owners weren't home. That dog might wake the neighbors, said Sammy's dad as he hopped out of the cart. Sammy yelled, but dad! His dad was already up the steps. Sammy's dad slapped a piggy ticket on the door, setting off the burglar alarm. He headed back to the cart as the alarm sounded. Piggies don't realize they are a piggy, said Sammy's dad as they drove away. Sammy replied, That's piggy behavior. His dad smiled, happy that Sammy understood. What a wonderful day, said Sammy's dad. We sure did see a lot of piggies, didn't we? Sammy didn't know what to say. He headed upstairs to get ready for bed. As Sammy brushed his teeth, his dad asked, Of all the animals we saw today, who was the biggest piggy? Well, the owners of the barking dog were piggies, but you set off their burglar alarm, said Sammy. And the ox was a piggy for talking loudly, but you spilled soup on the zebras. The littering lizard was a piggy, but you created a traffic jam when you gave her a ticket. The pooping porcupine was bad, but your cart ruined the flamingo's flowers. And it wasn't very nice of you to leave our breakfast mess for mom to clean up. Sammy handed his dad a piggy ticket and said, Sorry, dad, but you were the biggest piggy. Sammy's dad admitted, I was so busy looking for other piggies that I didn't realize I was the biggest piggy of all. Sammy said, That's okay. I still love you. Sammy's dad tucked him into bed and whispered, Good night. Sleep tight. I hope you have piggy-free dreams tonight. Thank you everyone for joining us today with Piggy Nations, A Day at Work with Dad. This story was given to me by Richard Roser, who wanted me to read his story on this YouTube channel. So I want to say thanks to him for giving us this opportunity to share his story. If you want to check out some of his other content and even get some of the games that he has connected with the story, you should visit his website, piggynation.com. Additionally, if there are any stories that you have and would like for me to read them on this channel, 
send me an email, contact at readingpioneers.com, and I'd love to read your story and share it for others to read as well. Also, if you have the time, click the subscribe button to stay up to date with all future uploads by Reading Pioneers, and give this video a thumbs up if you really enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this story, then here are some other stories from our library that I think you'll enjoy as well. Until the next upload. Well, this is all the time we have for today's video. Again, I hope you enjoyed it and check out Richard Roser's other content. But until next time, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye bye.